All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, today's topic is going to be on are all religions equal? And David and I have been going to the Westminster House next door for the last couple of weeks just for, uh, they have a nice program over there. It's dinner, and then they have a somebody come in from a different faith community to speak about, you know, just their experience. And about a week and a half ago, a Buddhist came in and was sharing about her religion. And she really insinuated, I guess, that, you know, the reason we choose religion is because we prefer it to another. It's like based on preference. Um, and, you know, it's, it's almost like, you know, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? I think she actually said way. Yeah, she, she might have said, yeah, yeah, she might have said that. And so, it, it's, you know, she brought up the, the topic about how, like, you know, all these religions are out there and they claim that they're, you know, the only truth. And she was like, well, you know, they have all these claims that contradict each other. How could they all be wrong? And so basically she was kind of saying, oh, we have, you know, our own subjective truths. And we're all, you know, essentially on our path to, you know, one final stage, whether that's, you know, nirvana or heaven or whatever. And we're all just going on, you know, separate paths, but we're going to get all there at, in the end. Um, I kind of feel like our American society feels that way. Um, you know, a lot of people just kind of throw them all together and just, okay, religion, you know, it's all, they're all equal, they all get you to the same place. Um, and so that's kind of what we're going to talk tonight, you know, are all religions equal? And Christians, you know, get charged with exclusivism a lot. You know, Christianity, you know, is such an exclusive religion, they see themselves as superior to others. How could, you know, how could Christianity be the only truth? Well, first of all, you know, Christianity, we don't say, is the only truth. Um, you know, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that later, exactly what we mean by that. But uh, basically, you know, are, are all religions the same? All right? Well, first, let's start off at, at a basic level. What's the difference between 2 plus 2 equals 4 and 2 plus 2 equals 5? Well, you, there's obviously a difference there. But one of them's right and one of them's wrong. I mean, clearly. So, you know, or at least you have to admit, you know, even if you didn't know 2 plus 2 equals 4, you have to admit that they both can't be right, all right? When we get to religion, is there a difference? Christianity claims that God exists, uh, but, but Buddhism is a non-theistic religion. They don't believe in a God who, you know, transcends the universe, who started it all. They kind of believe that the universe, most, I, I believe most trans believe that the universe has been, has been here for all eternity, and so there's no need to have a creator God. So, you know, there's obviously a difference there. There's a distinction between the two religions. And then, is there a difference? Christianity says Jesus is the Son of God. Islam says Jesus is not the Son of God. I mean, he, he, he can't be both in this case. I mean, really, he's one or the other. So, as we move, as we move on, the five questions that uh, we read about in the book. Uh, are other religions true? Are other religions good? Or are they moral? Can other religions save you? Um, are other religions educative? Or are they useful? And the first one, um, are other religions true? We'll talk about that. Um, truth. Truth is really, I mean, it's a hard word to define, but what I came up with was something that, that corresponds with uh, objective reality. All right? Um, and then... You know, there's there's a lot of non-contradiction that, that we believe. You know, obviously this here says do not enter and enter only. Well, you can't have both of those at the same time. Um, so you you can't have contradictory statements um, both be true in the same sense at the same time. And so if you think in a religious sense, God can't exist and not exist at the same time. That would be a contradiction. It's one or the other, really. Um, and then we get to, you know, something called, you know, degrees of truth. You know, something, something could be the, the full objective truth, but then maybe something has a piece of that um, truth in it, but is not completely full of truth. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So is Christianity the only truth? Uh, my first answer is no. And um, because if you look at the Jewish prophets, if Christianity is true, then all the Jewish prophets are true because they laid the foundation for Christianity. Uh, if Christianity is true, then much of what Buddha said in the Dhammapada is true because it's very similar to the Sermon on the Mount. And then, if Christianity is true, then uh, a lot of what uh, was said in the Bible, well, what was said in the Quran is true because the Quran is real similar to the Bible. So, 
So, you know, the list could go on, and it would be erroneous to say that Christianity is the only truth. But instead of saying Christianity is the only truth, I would say, you know, Christianity is objective truth. And we're going to later, you know, in, in later uh, apologetics courses, we're going to talk about this, what, what that means, what Christianity is objective truth. We're going to go into more of the details. Um, so far, we've talked about the existence of God and faith and reason, but we're going to go more into those Christian aspects as we go along. Um, so, the, the only religion that Christianity sees as truth is uh, biblical Judaism, as we mentioned before with the Jewish prophets. Um, but, so of course, as we, we talked about before about uh, religion, you know, it being cr- uh, true to a certain degree. Um, if you, you're talking about Islam, you know, Islam claims that Jesus is the Messiah, but he's not the Son of God. Well, if Christianity is true, then, you know, Jesus is the Son of God, so they're right on the, the idea of the Messiah, but they're incorrect on the idea of Jesus being the Son of God. And so same, like, with another religion like Hinduism, they believe in God, but they don't believe God has a will. Well, in Christianity, God, we believe in God, and we believe that he has a will. And so, you know, you get to those degrees of, of truth there. Um, so are other religious, or are other religions good? Well, uh, in, in other religions, you have moral codes, and they're actually real strikingly similar to, you know, each other. Uh, they're not like completely the same, uh, but they, they do have some similarities. And also, um, well, many of the values like Jesus taught in the Sermon on the Mount um, was also is also reflected in you know Plato and Confucius and uh, Buddhism. And so, I mean, there's and then a bunch of other works of philosophers and uh, religious leaders. Uh, but also, we have to keep in mind, too, that there are theological implications on moral codes. And so, what I mean by that is, you know, in Christianity, we believe in only one life. We don't believe in reincarnation. And so, uh, that means we there's a tremendous value placed on this life. Whereas in reincarnation, you know, it you, you have another chance. And so, you could get, you know, hit by a train or... Yet, you know, it's not a big deal. Well, I, I guess it kind of is a big deal, but um, it's, it's just you, you have a second chance at life. You know, if you uh, somebody dies in a war or somebody commits suicide, you know, with reincarnation, it, it's there's less of a strain on life. Um, so let's see. But religions, you know, we, they make metaphysical claims on reality. So. Um, they can't just be reduced to ethics, um, which is if you take the theological implications out and you reduce it to ethics, you can't do that because the, a lot of the religions are making these metaphysical claims about the order of the immaterial um, universe. So are other religions salvific? Uh, in the Bible, in the Gospel of John, Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So here, you know, obviously we understand that Jesus, of course, from this, this quote, Jesus is making a claim as being the only means of salvation. And, you know, no one comes to the Father except through me. You know, we can't, as Christians, get rid of this claim. It's obviously here and it's been there, you know, ever since the Gospel of John was written. Um, however, you know, I think people misunderstand this commonly. And... Um, You know, he's the only means, but it doesn't say that only Christians can be saved. So, you know, it it leaves the door open to other religions. So, like, you know, if uh, a Hindu or a Muslim or an atheist were to be saved, they would be saved through Christ. They may not know Christ, but they may be saved through Christ. And it wouldn't be because of Hinduism or, you know, Muhammad or, you know, just atheism, but, you know, it would be they would be saved through Christ. And so that's what I'm saying here is a passage is often misunderstood. Christ does not say only the people who are, call themselves Christians are, are saved. Uh, are other religions educated or useful? There's certainly reasons to study other religions. You get to uh, compare and contrast, and you deepen your understanding of your own religion. And then the other thing is you get to seek truth as well. And so, you know, I know a lot of converts to the faith have, you know, studied all different religions, and, you know, they may have come to the conclusion that, you know, Christianity is, is right for them. Uh, and so, you know, 
for the most part, they're all, you know, preaching the same message. They're all going to the same place. Or religion is fully subjective. So it's just, you know, what is my truth? You know, that's that's all religion is. What's my truth? What's your truth? And of course, as we kind of made the distinction earlier, we talked about how, you know, uh, religions aren't equal if, you know, there is objective truth to, you know, certain religion. And so I just want to bring in a couple uh, of the church fathers, early Christian writers. And I think Justin Martyr, I think we uh, had him had a quote on him earlier, first that we, but he says, we have been taught that Christ is the first begotten of God, and we have declared him to be the Logos of which all mankind partakes. Those, therefore, who live according to reason, or Logos in this case, were really Christians, even though they were thought to be atheists. So I find that interesting how he takes the Logos, which is Christ, and he puts that into the Greeks who were learning by reason. Um, so, like, he, he's kind of, I think he's speaking more about, like, the ancients, like Socrates and all of them. Um, and then if we continue on with uh, St. Clement of Alexandria, he says, Before the coming of the Lord, philosophy was necessary for justification of the Greeks. Now it is useful for piety, for it brought the Greeks to Christ as the law did in the Hebrews. So, St. Clement is saying most of the same thing, but he's also adding you know, the law in there to the Hebrews, because, you know, prior to Christ, the Hebrews didn't know Christ, or the, the Jews didn't know Christ, but they had the law, which was uh, prefigured to Christ. So, resolving differences. You know, so they, they proposed three solutions to the differences of religion today. So, the first one is conversion of Christ to the world. And this one is, uh, you know, it's, it's like converting everybody to Christianity. And the advantage of that is it answers the call that Christ had to his apostles, you know, go and make disciples of all nations. But obviously it's, it's very difficult to, you know, convert everybody to the Christian faith. So that's one of the, the disadvantages to that approach. But then there's also um, this another approach is pluralism and tolerance. And so that's one I think is preached a lot today in American society and you know, also in some of the Eastern religions. You know, everybody has their own religion. Let's just, you know, keep the peace and everything. Let's be tolerant of the other people's religions. You know, it's rather easy. That's one of the advantages. It's easy to pursue. But the thing is, if you think about tolerance, um, you know, we tolerate, you know, things that aren't, aren't you know, that, that don't really matter to us. So, like, you know, country music. If you don't like country music, you know, you're able to tolerate it, but <laughs> racism. But yeah, yeah. But racism or um, you know sexism, you know, any comments like that, people will jump all over me for that because they care about that. You know, is religion something we care about or something we don't really care about? That's you know something that's kind of a disadvantage with uh, pluralism and tolerance. It might religion might become something we don't really care about. And then of course world religion unification. That's just you know bringing them all together. And, you know, the, the problem with this one is, you know, it may not be true as we've seen, you know, religions claim different things and there's either, you know, truth to it or false. But, I mean, that, that one just doesn't seem like it would work out real well. So, but if, if Christianity is true, and we're going to investigate this, of course, with more of our apologetics lessons, then, you know, I think number one is the, the target we need to have. Um, and of course, it's not a convert or die mentality that we have. We need to be converting, you know, people, you know, in, in their hearts because that's that's the only way they're actually you know, converts. And you know, we need to develop that that fullness of truth that which is Christianity. And you know, really, ultimately, it comes down to God of the universe. You know, wants you to follow Him in a certain way. Then I, I think it would be a, a good idea to do so. And uh, of course, we're we're going to further investigate these. Uh, these claims as we go along.